Hello, I'm Scott Duke, and welcome to Food As I See It. Hello, I'm Scott Duke with the Food As I See It blog. We're here at Sync Lab Media in Studio 3, and we're doing the What We Ate This Week show. I want to introduce you to my co-host for today, Mark Neese. You're being nice to me, calling I'm me a co-host, co-host today co-host instead of today. something else. Could be calling him a lot different, but this is <laughs> what, we eat, what We Ate This Week. The concept here is what Mark and I came up with last week is to go out and uh, pick a place to eat. And as we walked out the door, where are we going? We're here at the Mockingbird Station, and Rockfish is right across the parking lot. So we always usually go there. And our friend... Well, Monday's usually always Darnell Day. Darnay Day, but Darnell we made Day, it right. Darnell Week. Right. And so we went over to see Darnell. It's like Shark Week. And Shark Week. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll do a complete documentary on that uh, one day. Anyway, back to the subject on what we ate this week. We spent the whole week, and this is Monday. We're going to report on. This is sponsored by Sync Lab Media. We're here at Sync Lab Media Studio number three. So let's start right now. It's called Get After It Open, where Mark and I chose something on the menu. It's totally open. Open choice. Open choice. Yeah. I'll start. I started off with my favorite, the tilapia special, which was called this month the Monte Carlo. I'm going to rename that, by the way. There you go. Because it reminded me of the Royale, Monte Carlo Royale, like Royale with cheese, one of my favorite movies. But anyway, so I think, as, it, should, I think it should be the Royale. As uh, you can see, we have quite a bit of conversation at our lunch. <laughs> uh, I especially thought it was a very nice meal, and even though it was called Monte Carlo, next month it could be called the Corvette. Who knows? I took the car theme. Anyway, it's a very, very fresh cooked meal of tilapia. It's a, a very healthy cook. It's lightly grilled. You can have it customizable is what I like about it. And Darnell does a real good job with us on occasions to provide us with uh, suggestions on how to modify these meals. But it's a very affordable meal. It's seven ninety nine. I just totally loved it. Mark, what did you have? I went with, uh, you know, I love the baskets there. They have, you know, you can get shrimp, catfish, uh, oysters, a bunch of different stuff, and you can get it fried or blackened, whatever. So I, since, you know, Mr. Health Nut over here this past week, I felt bad getting something fried. So I did a basket still, but I did with uh, blackened shrimp. Uh, which I love their blackening seasoning there. It's really, really good. A uh, little bit spicy, but not really like too overboard. So I did the blackened uh, grilled, chip, uh, grilled shrimp basket and uh, rice pilaf, and then I did have to cave in a little bit. I love the fritters, so I had, I had to have a few fritters to go along with it, but that was the only fried thing on the plate, though. So, you know, I did pretty good. for And a great value. Yeah, and a great value. Was, I mean, the baskets are only eight ninety nine. Eight so, ninety nine, and it's a lot of food. Um, you know, sometimes hard to eat it all. So, it, it it is a large volume of food. But anyway, nonetheless, that is our Monday. We're going to be doing the entire week, and we'll wrap this this section up and come back. So stay tuned for Tuesday, which is Salad Day Tuesday. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Scott Duke, and welcome to Food as I See It.